The Philippines is composed of hundreds of tribal communities and indigenous groups, each one having their own unique beliefs and views towards early marriage and pregnancy among the youth. This can also be seen through the tradition of fixed marriages among their groups. Today, let's hear Anzaira Rojas as she shares her thoughts about indigenous people, fixed marriages, and teen pregnancy. We really respect cultural beliefs and practices. Actually, we conducted peer education training at Iligan, at Lanao, and even Arakan Valley, if you know Arakan Valley, na malapit siya sa Kidapawan, yung Mount Apo. IP community talaga yon. I mean, Muslim, although may Christian people na rin. Inalam ko kasi yung history, I mean, bakit ganun yung pagtingin, paniniwala. Yun yung pinaniniwalaan nila eh. At kailangan talaga natin irespeto yon, no? Pero on our end, kasi yun sa tinitignan natin, kaya we need to partner with them kasi may, may friend kami may peer educator na friend kami na Muslim siya actually ano siya Maranao pero she decided not to no? kasi ano siya uh, educated na siya I mean may awareness na na inculcate sa kanya regarding dito so wag lang tayong titigil na ligawan sila and partner with them. I-share natin and let's meet halfway. Pero syempre, sa atin naman ang concern natin yung health ng ng young people, no? Kung gaano siya ka Given the sensitivity of the issue, Mario Balibago expands her understanding by sharing his own perspective. We with all due respect, nirerespeto naman talaga natin, no, yung kanya-kanyang paniniwala, whether you're from the Sun, from Visayas, from Mindanao, and it's not only among Muslims na ang tradisyon nila ay mag, pwedeng magpakasal lang mas maaga. No? May ilang mga ano mga indigenous peoples kung saan, ganun din yung naging practices nila, traditional practices nila. Pero nag-uugat ito dahil sa noong mga panahon na yun, kinakailangan talagang magpadami ng mga ano ng kanilang mga tribo. Sa ngayon, hindi naman natin sinasabi na hindi dapat magpadami. Pero at these times, at these modern times, we have to be very um, sensitive and at the same time, kung rights-based din ba yun. Kasi kung ang isang babae, um, ayaw naman talaga niya magpakasal, pero pinilit siya, ano yung mararamdaman niya? You just heard Anzaira Rojas and Mario Balibago and their thoughts on the issue on indigenous people, fixed marriages, and teen pregnancy. Thank you for listening and join me again next time. To know more about teen pregnancy and other population and development issues, please visit www.mulatpinoy.ph. This has been Anthony. Have a great day.